Here we are for Apollo 15 lunar orbit insertion. And we're well on our way to the moon. Uh, we've got about 73 hours into the mission. And uh, we still got a ways to go. You can see I have uh, two MFDs open. I'm going to open up now the lunar transfer MFD. Uh, that also has a program for lunar insertion. So we're going to go over here. Uh, just like we had in previous video. And uh, hit program and go down hit next till we get to auto and engage the auto go back to program button and then make our way down to the LOI and once we got the LOI we can hit the DV and uh, take a look at the TIG just time to ignition and hit execute and you can see that it's executed it because you see the waiting uh, popped up and tells us the time of waiting. You notice now that uh, I've kind of jumped over to uh, when the spacecraft is beginning its position, rotating around to position itself into retro fire. In order to be captured by the moon, we have to slow our speed down and by by using a retro burn. Now there's several autopilot programs that we can use. They're not MFDs, they're built into the AMSO AMSO add-on. By pressing the K key, we can use the autopilot to do the lunar orbit insertion, P17, but I used the lunar transfer MFD to do that for me. The K key will activate the autopilot in the bottom left corner and the arrow keys to select the menu item and then engage it with the up arrow. You can see that we are begin we are now captured into elliptical orbit around the moon. Here's our orbit in green and the moon in gray. As we continue our retro burn now you notice that uh, the retro rock rockets have circulized our or orbit so that in orbit MFD we can watch what's going on with the burn as we skip through uh, the time lapse that I have here. Many times this albedo change appears without any uh, significant change in topography, other than uh, perhaps a, a mountain ridge or a chain or a wrinkle ridge or something, but there, there are many variations in the albedo uh, all over the surface. I guess our general consensus is it's gray. We haven't uh, noticed any brown yet. Here we have that. Uh, map MFD up and you can see that we're just kind of orbiting around without hitting any of the bases on the map and so we're going to turn on uh, by pressing K and using the arrow left and right arrow keys to find the program to align our base and it activate the autopilot. You will see it show up on the bottom left corner in the little white box. It'll say P17, P18, P19, depending on which program you want. And then when you're ready to engage, hit the up arrow and it will engage that particular autopilot. Now we jump into the lunar module by hitting the M key. And we've jumped up to 99 hours or so into the mission and we're just skipping along here and we hit the J key to activate the lunar module. You must activate the lunar module before you can undock. And then the M key will get us back into the command service module and using the checklist that I put in the notepad MFD um, I'm looking at what the next step would be 
and uh, the next step would, uh, of course, then we're going to undock by hitting Control D. Undocking confirmed. And as soon as we undock, we can hit the M key to get us back into the uh, lunar module.